so devastating. New Mexico mum Jennifer Eardon died after she suffered critical injuries from nearly being sucked out of the window of a Southwest Airlines flight from New York to Dallas on April 17. One of the plane's engines exploded at 38,000 feet and the debris blew out a window, partially pulling her out into the open air until passengers were able to pull Jennifer back into the plane's fuselage. The jet made an emergency landing in Philadelphia but the trauma proved too massive. According to Albuquerque station KOAT-TV, Jennifer was taken to the hospital but died from her injuries. We've got five things to know about Jennifer Eardon. 1. Jennifer was a married mother of two. She was the mother to 12-year-old daughter Avery and 10-year-old son Joshua. She was married to husband Michael for 21 years and called him my love, my life, my gift. In a 2016 photo on her Facebook page, two Jennifer had been in New York on a business trip before the aircraft tragedy. She tweeted great business stay, at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Metropolitan, New York City, and a picture from her hotel room in Midtown East the night before her death. She even gave Yelp reviews to several restaurants while in the Big Apple, with her final dinner being at Marley which she called, Another lovely local experience with homemade pasta, farm to table freshness, and terrific service. 3. Jennifer was an accomplished business leader in Albuquerque for over two decades. She worked for Wells Fargo as a vice president of community relations. Her LinkedIn profile says that she was responsible for public relations, internal communications, community involvement and supporting local non-profits though Wells Fargo's generous corporate giving program of nearly $1 million. She added I manage Wells Fargo employee volunteer service to non-profits in New Mexico by nearly 1,700 employees in addition to representing the company on various boards in the community. Wow! 4. Jennifer was beloved by leaders in New Mexico for her decades of work in communications and community relations. She was mourned by New Mexico Gov. Susana Martinez, who called her an incredible woman who put her family and community first. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller said upon news of her death that, today, Albuquerque lost a thoughtful leader who has long been part of the fabric of our community. State Attorney General Hector Balderas called Jennifer a close friend and said I was honored to work with her on financial literacy issues for over a decade. Jennifer was exceptionally active and passionate in working to improve our community. 5. Jennifer shared the most important things in her life in her Twitter profile description. It reads, Proud team member, wife, mom of two, baseball fan, wine and coffee lover, passionate about my community. 